Today's video is just a story on a recent experience I had with Synergy. I will start the video with a question. How do you achieve perfect Synergy? Perfect Synergy is when you combine gear together and it performs above its class and you will have that wow moment. Now for me, a $1,000 synergistic system can outperform a $2,000 non-synergistic system. Now I've made two videos on synergy already, so I will not spend too much time on it. So how do you achieve perfect synergy? Are you able to handle the truth? The answer will piss off a lot of people, but I'd rather tell you the truth that makes up, than make up an answer that will make you feel good. The answer is simple, okay? You have to plug it in and listen. It is that simple. Not by looking at specs, nor looking at measurements for synergy, you have to plug it in and listen. You know, you can guess the performance of a speaker by looking at measurements, yes. But for synergy, no way. Many of you will say, well, Thomas, that does me no good, right? It's not like I can buy a million amps, plug it in and listen. So. That is why to achieve perfect synergy, you either have to have experienced it yourself or seek advice from people who have actual experiences. Now, in the past, you can go to a store and rely on the expertise of people who have actual experience. Sadly, in today's world, many of us no longer have that option. And the problem with YouTube, I see, is reviewers tend to review individual gear as opposed to complete systems. Let's take the Q Acoustic Concept 500 for example. If your system has good synergy with it, you'll get a super speaker. If it does not, you will curse Thomas for giving it a positive review. Now, if you watch my review of the Q Acoustic Concept 500, I started the video by being not too impressed with it because that speaker, this speaker can sound a bit dull with a smooth top end. I say can, but not necessary is, right? In addition, the bass can be a bit weak, so it sounds flat and boring overall. Now, I know the problem I've encountered with the Concept 500 has been, has been faced by some of you since I get emails and comments on that. And that is why I caution on that issue in my Concept 500 video. So where am I going with this story? So a while ago, I met Leonid from Altitude Audio at the Montreal Audio Show. Now his store is located in Winnipeg, Canada, and I spent over 30 minutes in his room because he was showing me what his systems can do. At the time, he had no idea that I own a YouTube channel. And I remember being really moved by his passion. So after the show, he got in touch with me to chat, and interestingly, the Concept 500 came into the conversation. He told me he carries them and he had a hard time selling them in the beginning. In fact, he ran into the problems I've mentioned, and here, let me share a short video clip that I've asked him to film. Hi everyone, if you have these beautiful speakers in your system, you know what kind of problems you will have it. I saw a review from Thomas, and I see what kind of problems you have it. Exactly, I have the same thing. Beautiful speaker, no sound, uh, lack of bass, uh, Twitter performance doesn't match, uh, sometimes vocal go forward and cover up other details. That's everyone have it with this speaker. And believe me, there is a couple good systems which may change your mind. What I will do, I will take two systems and send to Thomas. One system, I would call budget, just because the, the money wise is not expensive. Another one, which I love it, the system performance system. It costs a little bit more, and, but still not more than the speaker. But I can tell you that system is going to drive you crazy. I would recommend to try that. It's Aesthetics Mimos. I sent it my system with my cables all to Thomas. Let's see what we're gonna say. Thomas, you have a two systems and now it's up to you. We're gonna see what is your opinion and how it performs. See you. Now, in my Concept 500 video, I said once I paired it with the Hego P30 and Lumen Power Amp, it sounded amazing. However, that was a $20,000 setup. Now, if you have listened to any high-end speakers, there's always something that will catch your attention. For example, Focal, the detail will catch your attention. Whether it's to your taste or not, it's not the point. Wafter Elysium 4, the bass and the presence will catch your attention. 
Where the Concept 500 impressed me was its soundstage and its ability to disappear. Now the problem is to bring out the strength of the Concept 500. It's not as straightforward. For Cal, plug any amp in and you will get a detailed sparkling top end. Concept 500, you cannot. Just plug any amp to it and get that wow soundstage. Now back to Leonid. Now he told me he started selling more Concept 500 once he discovered good matching amps for it. Think about this, okay? At the Montreal Audio Show, he demoed a pair of Concept 500 and it was sold on the spot at the audio show. He felt he got amazing synergy with the Concept 500. So Leonid told me, Thomas, let me send you three systems that will sound really good with the Concept 500. Okay, so Leonid sent me three amplifiers for, from two different price bracket, budget and expensive. He even sent me all the cables to go with the system for perfect matching. First, the $477 Canadian dollars, 25 watt class D amp from Triart. Man, I laughed when I saw it. And Leonet said everyone had the same reaction until they listened to it. Next was the $1,200 Canadian dollars, class D 35 watt amp from Triart also. 35 watt, really? Do you know how many class D 200 watts amp I've had in my home? Interestingly, on, the, on top of the stock power supply that he sent me, he also sent me these upgraded power supplies that has tubes in it. Finally, the $9,700 Canadian dollars uh, aesthetics MIMAS amp. So these three amps, did it have good synergy with the Concept 500? So let's talk about it today. Now, for those of you who need advice on building a synergistic system, you know, I will leave Leonid's contact info in the description. We spent time talking on the phone and I noticed that his approach to audio is by looking at it as a system as opposed to individual gear. He also told me that one of his lessons in the room, the acoustics, is no good. He told me he approaches this differently from everyone else because if he can get it to sound good in a crappy room, it will easily sound good in, a, in any other room. Very interesting approach. Now, I will say this about the amps he sent me. Even the smallest amp was quite impressive. So let's start with the small Triart amp, okay? The two Triart amp addresses the two main issues with the Concept 500. The first issue is it can sound a bit too smooth for some people. And the second issue, the bass can be not strong enough. With the small Triart, strangely, Despite being 25 watt, uh, it was giving me pretty okay bass. Sure, nothing close to the Concept 500 maximum potential, but it's just amazing what this little amp can do. Now, I can see what Leonet was going for with that Class D non-fat sound. There's enough clarity to make the Concept 500 sound a bit lively. You see, for me, if a speaker is rolled off on the top end, the amp you pair it with either has to be sharp to compensate for it, or it has to have so much clarity and transparency that you don't feel like there is a, a veil in front of it. The Tri-Art for me has enough clarity and bass that make the Concept 500 quite enjoyable. Of course, not my first choice to drive the Concept 500, but a pleasant surprise. The external power supply with the tubes, eh, does make the sound better, but it costs just as much if not more than the amp. The second bigger Try our amp, does bring the performance to the next level. I was like, man, this sounds just as good as other amps I've tried that cost more. If the synergy is good, as I said, this is what I meant, it will perform above its price bracket. So, although the, the Try Art can make the acoustic uh, sound pretty decent, I know the Concept 500 can do better because I heard it with better gear before. For example, the soundstage with the Tri Art was not oh my gosh level. Now with the Aesthetics Mimas, that was a different story. Now you have a wide soundstage, amazing bass, and superb clarity to the point I can hear the speakers sparkle. 
here's the interesting part. When I used the cables they sent me, they gave me specific instructions, right? That you have to buy wire the cables, for example. Anyway, I noticed that I hear things like ding, 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 better. Although it does not sparkle like a focal, there was clearly more refinement and clarity, and that took me by surprise. The soundstage was just great. Another interesting part I noticed, when I put my cables in, the top end is not as sparkling, but I gained a bigger and more solid soundstage. And it had more presence, to the point I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. A question of taste, which presentation do you prefer? I personally prefer my own cables, because I remember having a more like wow reaction. The last time I got a wow reaction with the Concept 500 was with the $20,000 Hego P30 and Lumen Amp setup. That Hego Lumen Amp setup, yeah, it's still slightly more impressive because the soundstage was even better. So, by the way, I've made a video on my Galleon channel sharing my experience with the Galleon TS122 Amp with the Concept 500. Now, please check it out and I will link it in the first description. Now, the thing with the retail store is they have the opportunity to mix and match and no amount of logic can be substituted for experience. The Mimas M would never cross my mind that it will be a good match with the Q Acoustic just by reading the specifications. Only actual experience can tell me if it, is, if it has good synergy or not. Think about it. They were able to sell a pair of Concept 500 at the audio show because it sounded so good with it. By the way, I did ask my friends to try the Mimas amp on their higher end speakers too, with very good result. I was even comparing it to the Hego 590, and I would say the Mimas with its tube front end for some people, yeah, would be just as enjoyable as the Hego 590. The Hego 590 is a precision machine, man. It does everything perfect, too perfect. And that can be either a good thing or bad thing, depending on your taste. Now, please leave a comment. Do you believe in Synergy? What was your best sounding system, regardless of price? Please, please list out everything down to the cable if possible. So, this was fun for me to try. I've been asked by many people, what is a good amp to go with the Concept 500? Now, if you can go edition a Mimas amp, go check it out. I also get a lot of emails asking for private consultation and I try my best to answer whenever I have time. However, guys, be smart and reach out to Leonid instead because he definitely has access to more gear than me and has more experience in gear matching. I will finish the video with a story. So one of Leonid's customer bought the Concept 500 and he drove the Concept 500 with many popular brand amplifiers, you know, the amps that you know. And eventually he gave up on the Q Acoustic 500, Concept 500, and sold it. Now, I remember he left a comment for me saying it was a great speaker, but for him, he found it slightly dull, so it was not for him. One day, Leonid invited him to go listen to the Mimas amplifier with the Concept 500, because Leonid knew the customer bought the Concept 500 before, and Leonid could not believe the synergy was so good with the Concept 500, right, the Mimas, that he had to invite this owner again to make sure that he was not crazy. Guess what happened? The customer bought the Concept 500 again. That is how incredible synergy can be. And that's the reason why I spend so much time gear matching when I review gear. And that is why it takes forever for me to make a video. For the Apertura Edena Evo speaker, I tried seven amps. And that speaker, man, do I have a good story to tell you. All right, guys, with that, I will see you next time. Is not defined. Will you kiss me?